Hello, today we'll be discussing on a topic that sounds wild but interesting. We'll be discussing on the concept of property hacking. How can you hack into a property? I'm sure when you heard this topic, I'm sure you must have some reservation because the word hacking is most times associated with criminality and illegality. But we are not talking about criminality. We are not talking about illegality. We are talking on how you can make good and legal money hacking into properties. But before I go further, I would like to begin by defining what hacking is. Hacking is having unauthorized access to data, having access to an information to something that does not belong to you originally. That is hacking. But today we are not just talking about hacking, we are talking about property hacking. What is property hacking? Property hacking is any rental income on a property that does not belong to you. How? How is that possible? Is it possible to earn rental income on a property that does not belong to you when you are not the landlord, when you are not the owner of the property? That is what I will be explaining in today's episode. And in case you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Chris Aseka. Please do well to click on the subscribe button, click on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up. Now, back to our question, what is property? hacking and how can you hack into property that does not belong to you now before i go further i would like to say that you can hack into a property that belongs to you and you can also hack into a property that does not belongs to you now how can you hack into a property that belongs to you hacking into a property that belongs to you is building an apartment living in some part of the apartment then renting the remaining that is property hacking. You can build a house, you live in one side of the house while you rent other flats in the house. That is property hacking. You are hacking into your property. If you remember my previous episode, I said that if you build a house and the house is not generating any money for you, that house is a liability. Why? Because if you want to renovate your house or if you want to do anything, in that house you have to dip hand into your pocket and bring that money to do that thing which you want to do so the house is not giving you money rather it is taking money from you and so it is becoming a liability but a property hacker does not have to go through all this why because the house which they are living is also generating rental income for them so they don't have to dip hand into their pocket but they can fund all those expenses by the money that is coming from the property. If you're living in your house and at the same time you're earning rental income from the house which you are living, you are a property hacker. Why? Because you are killing two beds with one stone. You are living in the house and at the same time the house is generating cash flow for you. So you are a property hacker. But that is not where we will be dwelling today. Where we will be dwelling today is how can you make money from a property that does not belong to you? Or is that even possible? Can you make money from a property that does not belong to you? That is where we'll be dwelling today. And that is the second aspect of property hacking. To portray this point about property hacking, I'm going to be telling a bubble story about two men, Mr. A and Mr. B. Mr. A in 2004 had 43 million naira, and what he did was he built an apartment and after building it, he rented it out for 3.5 million naira per annum. Why Mr. B, who also had the same 43 million naira, in 2004 he met a property owner who had 48 units of flat and they went into a contract now what is this contract all about the contract is that mr b is going to invest his 43 million era into that apartment he's going to renovate it and put it in shape and he is going to be earning 30 percent of the rental income of that property for the next 30 years now after the renovation and everything they were able to put that property back into the market and they were renting it for 1 million naira per flat the 48 units of flat will give them 48 million naira annually and if you calculate 30 percent of that 48 million you are going to get 14.4 million naira that is what mr p is getting annually from what he invested now if you calculate in three years mr b have already gotten his 43 million naira that he invested into that property why he still have 27 years more as profit now let's assume that the rent of that property remained the same for the next 30 years at the end of 30 years mr b who didn't own the property have made 
432 million naira from a property that he did not own. By 2017, Mr. B have repeated this same transaction five different times and he is now living the dream house, living in his own mansion. So I ask you, do you want to hack a property? I'm sure that by now you must be thinking, how can I get this kind of deal? How can I get this kind of opportunity? Now let me tell you, there are a lot of landlords that are looking for such kind of deal. Why? Because they have properties in strategic location, but they are not getting the best out of their property because they cannot put it in shape. They cannot put it in order. If you can meet any of them and you say the idea to them, they are going to buy it because you are making more money for them and at the same time you are making money for yourself now if you're looking for where you can find such kind of deal the best place where you can see such kind of deal easily is in the slum in your states look for old buildings look for buildings that are dilapidated look for those buildings if you're in portato where i reside you go to place like my one you go to town go to agri road brooklyn you see properties that are not in their best shape most of those properties maybe they are renting for five hundred thousand naira for a three bedroom flat but if that property was to be in good shape if you put that property for 1.5 million naira people are going to rush it why because it is in a prime location so there are a lot of landlords that is looking for people that will go into this deal with them so that is how you can go about making good money from properties that does not belong to you so i want you to go out there hack into properties that does not belong to you and make a key for yourself if you're getting value from this video please do well to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell notification so you'll be notified when we post new videos and also do well to give this video a thumbs up till i come your way next time my name is chris asikan